People always ask me why I speak so softly. I do not know how to tell them without shouting that I am already shouting. The whole world is shouting at me and I am shouting back all of the time. The better question to me is why they hear only whispers. Aren't you listening? People ask me to speak up. You don't want me to speak up. Being quiet was never the easy option. I have been louder than brass bands, louder than subway cars, louder than eyes. I chose not to pursue the consequences that follow. I want you to understand shouting is how we remind ourselves we are alive. Loudness is when we make it a competition. I am no less forgetful than anyone else. I am no more forgetful than anyone else. I've been learning to breathe using all of my body. If it makes me any louder, then I hope you will forgive me for it. the way that steam whistles sound, shrill and intense and primarily in the odd hours of the morning. When I think about you, the street lights die out in self-defense ex against exactly this inevitable comparison. The poetry I write about you has a recognizable rhythm. The first time you kissed me tasted like Pop Rocks. The second time tasted like Coca-Cola. The last kiss, I tasted a saltiness that could have been your tears or the tequila. I don't want to make you cry anymore. I press the ice in the glass against the scrapes on your elbows. Listen to the soft sounds of your contempt. It is the most I can do without overreaching. We are both tightrope walk, walkers now, or freight trains, or both, bound for some momentous collision. Oh, thank you.